My name is Tatiana Rodriguez and I'm 13 years old and I'm in eighth grade. My favorite thing about Alma is like the so many like opportunities we get. It's not like a regular public school. We have the classes and co-cooks like that. There's like a lot of like hands-on activities. I think I have art four times a week because I have two different classes in art in for me personally, I like to do sculptures, building stuff with like my hands rather than like just learning something. But art is cool because you not only get to like learn maybe the history of the project that you're doing, but you also get to like make and like recreate the project that you're like basing it off of. My family has been a part of Elma since the very beginning, um, eight years. The learn, lead, serve, succeed values that they were, you know, instilling in my children. They will carry with them throughout the education and beyond that in their lives in general. Alma Del Mar is redefining the urban public school experience in our high demand, high support model, which essentially means that we hold very high academic and behavioral expectations for our scholars, and we provide the right supports for our scholars such that they can meet those high expectations. Teachers don't let me like sit back and just like once I finish the work, that's it. They keep continue to push me to get more knowledge and be where I'm supposed to be, listen like what I can learn. Not just academically, but the teachers have supported like all of their scholars. If they know they're having a bad day, like they support them, they make sure they're okay, like emotionally, but also like being like their teacher. It's not just academically, like that's all they care about. Like they actually care about us as like people. The reason that I was first interested in putting my children into the lottery at Alma was because of the small classrooms. They, you know, wanted to highlight each child for their accomplishments and be able to give more one-on-one -on -one attention to each child. Well, usually in like the TLT groups, it's like a, a small group of about like six to like 10 usually. And like we get to learn like specific topics based on like what we're struggling in. Like in math, we could learn be learning about maybe something we've all like in common have like struggled with. It's easier to get like the one-on-one -on -one help that you need because like it's not like with the whole class where now you have to wait for like the teacher to finish like teaching the lesson that you get get it like directly. So as an expeditionary learning school, we offer our scholars really deep content rich knowledge over a single topic over a long period of time. So instead of having a series of units in which they learn about, you know, different topics, they stay with one theme throughout the year and kind of become experts on that field over the course of the year. So what, uh, one way that this looks like is our scholars don't go on field trips, they go on field works. Um, and when they go on field works, it's part of their class and that they are researching to learn more about the topic. They become experts over time, bring that knowledge back into the classroom and then apply it to their learning. Usually the field works are like something relating to the topics we're learning. I remember one year we were learning about the colonies and like pilgrims and stuff, so we went to Plymouth Plantation. Usually we have a packet to do, questions we have to answer, but get to have fun and explore wherever we go. One of the things that I know a lot of teachers like throw every single year that I've been here that they do is they're always reminding us that college may be far, but it's going to come up soon. So it's always in the back of our minds, this is something that's like I'm going to have to like work up to. They prepare their lessons and their work to challenge us to make sure that we're at the level that we need to be to get to high school and college and further. Some of the things that I really appreciate is the fact that they involve the families. It's not just about the scholars and their development, it's about the family as a whole. Um, and I appreciate those things. It keeps us involved and it makes me feel important as well. Amanda's oldest daughter, Jay Lynn, graduated from Alma in 2017 and, because of her high achievements, received a full scholarship to attend Tabor Academy. I feel like Elma was very instrumental. All the staff and Mr. Gardner especially was instrumental in making sure that we did the process, we did the applications, we did the SSATs. They, you know, gave us the guidance that we needed to make sure that we were doing the proper procedures to get her involved in, in Tabor Academy. Now Jay Lynn's younger sister, Tatiana, is currently considering her high school options. I'm either deciding on the Academy of Honors at New Bedford High or Tabor Academy. Our guidance counselor has helped me prepare for these two high schools, teaching me about like the application process and signing me up for an SSAT, which I need to take to, if I want to go to Tabor. So I feel that Alma extending the enrollment for the children and opening the second school is going to be great to this community. I feel like the values and the things that they offer here will be a great asset to all the kids in this area and the families as well. I feel that it's going to do great things to push our community in a better direction. <laughs>